All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to model uh, we're going to model a project called Seashore Chapel, uh, designed by Vector Architects, uh, located in China. So uh, we'll go through the process of creating this kind of uh, structure. I actually like it because it's the location is is really beautiful here. So uh, we we will go through the process of uh, modeling this project based on only the base plan and the side views. So uh, here's a couple of more images and um, let's let's start. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import uh, all of the plans that I have. <clears throat> Here I have the, the bottom plan and the top one. And right now I'm just going to throw these images in and later we're gonna fix them and I'm gonna show you how you can actually orient them correctly so that everything fits fits well. Of course sometimes uh, these drawings are not perfectly correct so we're gonna go and we're gonna just uh, do the best to to actually uh, create them and we're just gonna have here here another one and then we're gonna try to position them uh, in place. So as you can see here all of them have this uh, measurement here which is uh, great because we'll use this to actually scale these drawings. So what we're gonna do we're gonna let's just create a rectangle 1-1 one, one, which means it's one meter uh, length and then I'm gonna just place it here on zero and I'm gonna scale basically this drawing from this guy until here and this get uh, this uh, this way I know that this is the correct measurement so that one is done let's move on so I'm gonna quickly do this now for the rest of them All right, so now once we have them scaled up, uh, I'm just going to go to orient them now correctly in the correct positions. So first thing we can see here that we have this guy, this line, can go with this one. And now I'm just gonna check to see if everything corresponds with, with the scaling. So as you can see, it's not perfectly scaled up here. You can see that um, this line should actually end up there. So as I said before, these drawings sometimes are not perfectly optimized. So what we can do here, we can further change them. So I'm going to scale this drawing a little bit more. Like so. And that should be fine. So these two are optimized and let's have them one one next to each other we can actually even uh, crop them so we don't need the rest like this and let's crop the other one as well like so so we save some space there and now let's let's move on to the other ones let's try this one <clears throat> as you can see here this one uh, is oriented uh, on the opposite side so what we can do we can just mirror this with no problem and now we have these guides exactly in the correct position so let's do the thing again Let's bring these steps to see if this is properly scaled. As you can see, uh, there is just a slight difference. So we're gonna change that. Like so. And now let's also cut this guy. 
something like this. And that's one elevation. And what we can do now is we can actually go to the perspective mode and we can bring this, uh, we can bring this guy 90 degrees up like this. And let's say that this is going to be our, our position from there. So I'm gonna select this point and I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna type zero, 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 which will bring it to the zero coordinate there. So now once I, once I'm, once I'm done with this guy, I'm gonna move on to the next one. Here I also have the, the section. So basically I can do the same thing with the section that I just did with the, with the elevation. So let's see. I can do one more here to just check if this wall is corresponding. It's not, so. Uh, let's see what we can do. All right, so this should be fine. So this section now is, is ready. Let's also trim it. And we can also put it into perspective like this. And let's bring it bring it up so if you want to check if these guys are matching what we can do we can use we can take this one and we can go here to, to material and turn on the transparency and once you go here you can actually check to see if they're if they're all right so as you can see here if I increase this it will stop be stop to be visible so obviously we need to increase the height here let's move it back so let's go to the section and let's slightly move it like this and this should work this should work let's go back and turn the transparency on off and uh, what we can do now is basically try to align also the the other the other two so i'm gonna do this and then we're gonna move on All right, so once we have this, all of these drawings positioned, uh, we can move this to the center and uh, we can basically start, start drawing. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, create, I'm gonna create uh, these uh, lines from the, from the side views and then I'm gonna continue with, 
uh, with the rest. So basically what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hide everything else and I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave this uh, elevation view and I'm gonna start to draw on top of this drawing, but first I'm going to lock it. And now we'll basically go with the polyline and follow the, follow this path here. So that would be that first first path and then I'm gonna just uh, do the same for the rest of the drawing I'm just gonna trace trace over it Alright, so now I'm gonna use curve boolean here for these guys to have this as a polyline and we're gonna use the same thing for this guy and for this guy. Here we're gonna add also the columns and this little post there. I'm gonna draw also the, uh, the, rail, the handrails. And let's draw this wall there also. Like so. So now once I traced uh once I traced all of these guys, uh I can uh, get rid of the ones that I don't need. So for example, this one, and there's a lot of these small lines that I don't need. So I'm gonna delete them. Like so. And now let's turn on uh, the rest of the image. And let's bring this, let's bring this uh, section here so we know that we trace those lines so now what i'm going to do i'm going to do the same thing the same process with all these uh side views and then we're going to move on from there
All right, so once we have this, these guys, we can actually start, start drawing. So I'm gonna move the drawings closer to the edge here. And we're going to start. So I know that, so first thing I'm gonna do, I know that this guy is actually coming from this side and it's going to be extruded all the way until there, like so. And also I'm gonna do the same for this smaller, smaller part there. I'm gonna say scale 1D here to get it correctly. Uh, now we can actually change the layer so we don't work in the same anymore. Let's change it. All right, so what we can do next here is uh, we can create those stairs. So we can use this area here and let's bring it until there. And uh, of course now from 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 this view from this image you can see here that we have here like this frame and here we have the wall is con connected to this guy so we're going to use actually this other drawing that we did to create this this effect so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to slightly extend it on the bottom here now let's do the extrusion and let's do the boolean split and we can actually delete the rest and as you saw before we can actually fill in this guy here with the wall that's until here so we can mirror this on both sides and uh, let's see what else there is so you can see here that the, the door is extruded in as well so that's this door here so I'm gonna just quickly create here one simple uh, one simple uh, rectangle and I'm gonna bring it up until here and I'm gonna say boolean difference and now I have this door so it's it's simple as that uh, the next thing would be to create those stairs so I just go with this guy here and let's extend it on the bottom like so so I'm gonna just quickly isolate these guys here and I'm gonna uh, duplicate them I'm gonna hide this and let's trim the rest so we have this as one single shape now we can bring everything back and let's move it in the position here and before doing that let's uh let's create here a rectangle so that we can have this hole later on so i'm gonna est estimate the height of this uh it's supposed to be on this step here so i'm gonna bring this up and i'm gonna bring this over and here we can do a boolean boolean difference like so and that should be uh, good here and now let's also uh, move this area like so so now what we can do here we can bring this this line and let's let's actually move it until the edge here and we can start to, to do the extrusion like so and here we can actually see what's what's gonna happen below uh, and that would be that would be the beginning of these slopes there uh, and now I'm gonna quickly draw this uh, columns there that we missed once we have the columns uh, we can just move them move them here into place and let's let's extrude them 
like so. So it's already starting to look like like the the image. Uh, the next thing would be to create those uh, those extrusions on the side. So I'm gonna bring this this up. like so and I'm gonna extrude it until there and of course there's these two lines that we also need to bring over like so and we also so so the cool thing is that how you can close this you can go on top you can say curve boolean and you can fill in this area here and now you can set point and bring it up and now you can basically delete these guys and bring this on the bottom like this so that would be that side detail and uh, what we have here more is uh, basically this side so let's bring it up let's extrude it and we have this area left like so uh, anything else that we need to add are these details here so let's bring them till there So I'm gonna just copy this slightly to there. Actually, yeah, these two are supposed to be closer together. So these are that that detail and this one. Okay, so the last thing here would be to actually bring these walls over. So let's do that quickly. Can do the extrusion here and on the other side as well. Like so. And now we have this to this would be the bottom. And this will go in until here let's do the boolean difference like so and the last thing we can do is we can add this uh, detail here on the top it's actually uh, this is actually a uh, opening so we can just quickly go here and uh, move it the middle points to the outside like this and we bring this back until this point let's do planar surface and let's extrude it in so that would be the detail there and now it's just to create uh, the fences and let's not forget this area here so we need to actually move this guy over and do the extrusion here so now i'm gonna just quickly do the scale 1d and bring it until here so basically that would be uh that would be the process of uh, the modeling of this church uh, I'm just quickly now going to just add a little bit more detail glasses and the uh, hand railing and that would be it so this is the final rendering hope that you liked uh, how it turned out uh, that was the process of modeling a project based on 2d jpegs we didn't have the exact DWG files, but we created them based on JPEGs. If you like these kind of tutorials 
And if you like uh, this kind of uh, content, please like and share these uh, videos and this channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you're first uh, time here and click on that bell notification because uh, I upload these kind of videos every week. So take care and see you in the next one.